What's going on everybody? All right, so today I'm gonna to show you how to clean the terminals or the corrosion uh, that may be on your battery, whether it's on Tundra or whatever vehicle you own. I'm kind of embarrassed to even show you this because I've not really checked this out till the other day and I was like, that is a lot of corrosion. So what I did was I went to Advanced Auto Parts and just bought this diehard uh, battery cleaner. It comes with almost everything you need. I did go to like Harbor Freight and buy some seven mil gloves. I would recommend wearing gloves doing this anyway, but I did get a, a cut on my finger, like a pretty deep cut from a bipod. The bipod bit back last night. And uh, so I don't want to get uh, battery acid in that, but it comes with the little covers that go, well, not covers, but the little gaskets that go on the bottom. It comes with a battery protectant spray, uh, terminal cleaner, and if you twist this, can't remember which way to twist it. It has the uh, other side terminal cleaner, the cable cleaner. And then it also comes with a battery cleaner spray, which is what we're gonna start out using first. So uh, let me set the camera up. I'll show you how horrible uh, my terminal is and uh, we'll go over how we're gonna clean it. Okay, one more thing I recommend would be wearing safety glasses. You don't wanna get this in your eyes. Um, I'm going to wait and put the gloves on until actually I start cleaning this, but you can see right here just how horrible that is. I mean, that is that is so bad. Uh, so this cleaner actually says, uh, shake, uh, shake spray can lightly, spray liberally over battery surface and all areas where corrosion deposits exist. Avoid spraying into battery cells. Wait a few minutes, flush with water, and wipe dry with cloth or paper towel. Uh, use wire brush for heavy deposits on terminals and connectors. Repeat application if necessary. So I'm gonna say I've got some pretty heavy deposits here, which is crazy. Uh, but we're just gonna, ooh, it's eating it up, boys. It is going to work on that stuff. really stinks and uh, it's splattered so I am going to take this rag and just kind of wipe it off of my vehicle because I don't want that cleaner all over the paint so we're actually just going to leave that sitting there let it kind of uh, do its thing and in a few minutes I keep stuff keeps falling off the, the grill uh, where I set it uh, but we're going to let it do its thing and then we'll come back and kind of spray it off with some water and uh, see how well it works Okay, so I've got the camera pulled back a little bit. I don't want to splash battery acid on the camera if I can help it. I want to say these gloves from Harbor Freight are thick boys. That's pretty nice too. That way you don't have to worry about them ripping as bad. But now per the instructions, we just take water and spray this off and see what happens. Ooh, I guess I got some air in my water. All right, so let me scoot you up and show you. It didn't get it all off. Let's see here. So we're going to have to take a wire brush to this and uh, try to get as much off as we can. And then we'll actually take the terminal off. And I don't have like a regular wire brush. So we're just going to use the one that come with it. And then we'll actually take the terminal off and clean it that way, or actually the wire off and clean it that way. There is a lot, a lot of battery acid on this. A lot. I've heard you don't really want to get this on your clothes either because it can make holes in your clothes. So wear something you don't, you know, it's old and uh, you're not extremely worried about uh, when you do this. Let me rinse this off a little bit. Just gonna rinse this off again. That is looking way, way better. Way, way better. May go over it just again with the brush to hit the spots that look the worst. 
and then we'll spray some more of that stuff on it, some cleaner, and see just how clean we can actually get it. And I did cover up my Switch 4 system. I ain't got it completed yet. Uh, when I seen this battery terminal, I was like, we're gonna have to clean this up before we finish installing the pod lights. So uh, that's why we're doing this right now, which it need to be done. Don't get me wrong. All right, let's spray some more stuff on it. Let it set a few more minutes and uh, we should be good to take it loose and clean it. There we go. The negative one looks great. Again, gonna take a rag and kind of wipe off the overspray or the splatter. Let that do its thing for a little while. And we'll come back and uh, see how clean we got it. Okay, it looks like it's bubbled down for the most part. So we're gonna spray it off again. I'm just going to make sure I get down all over everything. I don't want battery acid all over everything. I'm just going to make sure I spray off everything down in here that it may have run off to. Spray off my grill there a little bit. All right. Now we're going to take these off and uh, clean the posts and everything. I think it should just be a 10 millimeter. Negative off. Oh no, that one is breaking. That's bad, that's bad. The bottom is breaking off of this. The top is still holding, but the bottom is breaking. It may have corroded so much that it actually doesn't want to come off. So we may not actually be able to get that off because it does look like it's trying to break, which is a very bad thing. That is exactly what's happening. So I may actually have to replace this terminal. That is the way you would clean them. But uh, I'm not going to be able to clean this one because that is not going to come off without breaking. And I don't want to break that terminal right now. I still have good surface area on the top, so should be all right. I'll still spray some of the, uh, the protectant on it. But um, I'm probably going to have to replace that terminal. I waited too long, and that is, a, that is something that if you wait too long, then uh, you'll have to deal with. So don't wait too long. Make sure you check your terminals. All right, we'll spray it, uh, we'll wipe them down clean. But if you can get this off, make sure that you do clean the terminals and everything really good because corroded batteries can cause charging issues with the alternator. So make sure that you get that done. But uh, that's, that's not coming off. I do need this bolt off whenever I do the uh, trigger four system. So, uh, we may have to actually see if I can get this one off too, because that one does need to actually come off. This one does not, but that one does either a 12 or a 13, and it's a 12. It's a moment of truth. Yes, I can break that one loose so we can actually finish the trigger four system set up, but I cannot get the main one off to clean it, and that kind of sucks. I am gonna try to get some more of this underneath here off though. Those are some chunks coming out of it. There we go, spray it off again. I know we just dried it off, but I didn't see a chunk come out until.
We'll have to do another video on replacing this possibly, or maybe next time I have the oil change, I just let them do it because they probably have the factory terminal there. Okay, again, let's wipe everything down clean, dry. Dry as we can get it. <laughs> and then we'll put the battery terminal protectant spray on it. So maybe that'll actually slow down the All right, so we got the protective spray on it. So uh, we'll let that kind of sit there and dry a little bit. I will have to take that back off. So I'll probably get some of that all over me, but that's kind of how you clean a battery terminal. If I could have got this off, we could have done it better. You'd one, took it off, took the brush into that, took it down on the terminal, took the, the other brush in, took it through the cable, put it back on, put the washers on, put this back on, tighten it down, then spray this stuff on it. But for now, this is this is just gonna have to do because there's uh, there's I just can't get that off. So uh, sorry about that. But that is we got it real close. We got it way better than it was, and uh, that's kind of how you do it. Anyway, I appreciate y'all watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, got it. Like I said, got it close, but not perfect. Hopefully, this will do until I actually get a new one put on it. We'll see you next time.